y'all good morning and welcome back to another freaking video so today i'm coming to y'all with another in the day of the life but today's gonna be a little bit different i'm gonna tell you guys how much i make in a day yeah you heard it right here i'm telling y'all how much i'm making in a day so if you're interested keep watching this video and make sure you like this video comment and subscribe what you want the next one to be but the start of my day right now i'm just about to clean off my tweezers and get ready my client is going to be here in like five minutes probably before that but Normally, I turn off my tweezers. If you don't already have, like, if you're a lash check, you definitely need, like, a barbicide jar. Um, I always change my barbicide out just so that there's no, like, stuff floating inside of it. Because, you know, if you're doing lashes, sometimes lashes will be floating inside of it. But you will need to make sure that you don't have stuff floating in there. Because stay bored um, requires you to have barbicide that is clean and it doesn't have particles floating in there. But that's the first thing I'm doing. Um, normally, before I leave every day, I always clean up to make sure that when I come back, I don't have to do any extra stuff. And I'm just, you know, waiting for my client. But that's about it.
I just finished my client's hand. So this client had a beauty volume set and eyebrow wax today. And they were full sets. So for that, my price for that is 130. Because if you're in the lash business, you know you can make some good money. So if you're looking and you're in Arizona and you're looking to learn how to do lash extensions, make sure you follow my business page and you can book a eyelash extension beginner course. I'll also have a volume lashing course on there as well. Clients normally do a um, deposit online. My deposit for my clients is my deposit for my clients is um, twenty five dollars. So, yeah. I'm gonna check my my schedule because I got a. So today in total I have four clients, but I have four full sets. And my next client comes at 11.30, so I got 30 minutes to chill or do whatever I want. I'm not hungry because I went and got some Starbucks earlier. I forgot to tell y'all. I went and got some Starbucks. All my caramel at the bottom. Oh, I hate what happened. Well, yeah, that was my girl Key. She got her lashes and she got her some pink lashes at at this time. I ordered pink lashes specifically for her and the set came out bomb. Her brows were just a little bit red because I had just, uh, just you know, did them, but the aloe vera will help it to cool down after a while. And my next three sets are hybrid sets. So, I'm about to clean up, get ready for my client. I'm gonna chill for a little bit. So, I'll see y'all. Well, actually, I'm about to just let y'all watch me clean up. Okay, hold up, here we go. I don't know why, but I've been having issues with my chair. Like I've been having a little issues with my chair or whatever. And it's really irritating me because I just got it when I moved in here. So I gotta check on Amazon to make sure I got like a warranty. Matter of fact, I'll do that when I get finished. And I can also, cause I have another video I'm about to upload to y'all. So I think I'm gonna start editing that video or at least drop my, um, put my videos onto iMovie at least because I need to edit that video tonight. My work schedule for today is nine, nine o'clock until, so I started at nine and I end today at around like 5.36. My schedule is normally from nine to six, so. I don't really like taking clients late in a day if I do, or if I take clients earlier in a day, um, then that is considered a VIP appointment. And those appointments are like $50 more than what the normal price would be for your, um, for your lashes or whatever service you're getting. And because it's like paying for time that I'm not really, working you know what I mean so if you are a girl out there working for yourself then I would strongly encourage you to do after hour appointments or VIP appointments for people who schedule don't work with yours and then also you know it's a benefit because you can charge a little bit more if you need to you know for your time so that's what you're gonna do especially if you got kids and you got a family to tend to See me, it's just me. Um, so I don't really have to worry about, you know, having to do nothing extra, but at the same time, I do still have a life outside of work, you know? But that's that. I also need to fill up my barbicide because I need to fill up my barbicide. I need to put some more water in here. I'm trying to work fast so I won't have to be so I can have a little bit of time to just, you know, chill and, you know, relax by myself for a little bit, you know. But I normally use barbicide to clean my um, my chair down and stuff. You can also use some Lysol spray to spray the room and stuff like that. I, for, um, I forgot I need to get me some more Lysol spray. 
finished, but for now we're gonna use barbicide. Barbicide is good for that. Okay, so I use this clean because barbicide cleans all germs, viruses, all of that stuff. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell y'all, my client, she brought me a gift yesterday. It was so nice of her. She always bring me stuff, y'all. She always bring me like smell good stuff. And that's my girl. So she be coming over here, bringing me little stuff. I just finished my second client of the day and she got a she came a little bit early so now I don't have a client until two o'clock it is currently 109 and I'm gonna go get me some lunch I guess and so basically she got a removal a lash removal from her lash tech 
her last pack and then she also got a full a new full set and she bought some lash cleanser because her last pack did not educate her on cleaning her lashes so she had some build up and things like that but girl you know we got her together you know we had to get her together so that moving forward she can have some healthy clean fluffy lash extensions girl let me just tell y'all you can charge however much you charge but it's based off of quality if you have quality lashes and you have lashes that's going to last them at least two to three weeks then they will pay whatever they need to pay so that they can get their lashes done because these days lashes are a necessity it's just like getting your hair done so just make sure to show customer service is on point make sure you got good conversation also allow them to be able to just be at peace chill if they need to and then you know they'll love you as a lash tech so that's that you know build a rapport with your clients make sure that you maintain and also be consistent with your work um and be clear about your prices also make sure that you have your booking site set up so that you don't have to you know scramble around for you know what different sets look like and all that make sure your instagram is set up right so that it's clear and people will come to you just for that reason because they don't want to have to look and search for something that should already be there you know what i mean but that's that i'm about to go grab me some lunch girl and i will see y'all when my next client get here peace Anyways, y'all, I'm back. 
Oh, oh, look, let me not break nothing in here. Anyways, I'm back. I'm hot. My clients be cold, but I'll be hot. And I just finished my last client. My next client comes at four o'clock. It's 3.42. And I am about to prepare for my next client. So, that client got a hybrid set, um, which is a, like the mix it up set on my page. And she got her eyebrows waxed. I'm about to clean up and I'll see y'all when I see my next client. Just finished my last client of the day getting it done but I just finished my last client of the day and my client got a she got a, a um, hybrid set as well and that set came out to 115 I had a good day busy day productive day tomorrow I have a busy day as well so what I'm gonna say is this, y'all. If you wanna be a boss, become a lash tech. Like, for real, because you can run it up in a day. Literally, pay a couple bills in a day. So, that's just what, um, you know, everybody's, every lash tech's prices are different because, you know, people are in different areas, people are in different states. You, can, you may be able to get people who charge more. I know people who pay $190 for like a classic set of lashes out here. So my prices are kind of like big, like normal prices, no, normal pricing. And before it was a little bit lower than that, but it um, honestly, it depends on what area you, you're in. Kind of browse around, you know, look at different texts in the neighborhood. I mean, like in your area where you're located or whatever, and um, kind of browse and see what kind of pricing people have. Um, also just try to see what is like the best, um, what's the best price for you based off of your work you know because quality is everything if you have lashes and you're having trouble with the retention and things like that then you need to start browsing different glues you need to start kind of changing it up a little bit so that you can kind of see more clientele and always remember girl keep those business cards on deck so that you can hand your business cards out to people it's not old school to do because it's still going to bring you people word of mouth is everything um but other than that i'm trying to think about what other tips i can give y'all before i go always make sure y'all room is together always make sure y'all are presentable wearing like you know scrubs and stuff like that um build your report that's number one and make sure that you stay on top of being on time and things like that because when you're on time people respect you and they respect your time so that's that and um i guess let me know what other like type of videos y'all want to see as far as the lash tech vlogs um so that i can kind of give an idea of like what my day-to-day -day is it might be some other things that i could be a little bit more information about but let me know in the description down i mean in the comments down below so that i can be able to give that to y'all but thanks so much for watching my video and tuning in to my channel um make sure you subscribe like comment and make sure y'all give me more feedback but for now i will see y'all in the next one peace